This video is sort of similar in the idea of the convergence of sequences, but this is about convergence of series. This is a much more difficult question because instead of just looking at a list of numbers, we have to look at, well, what happens when you add up an infinite amount of numbers in that list? In this video, we're specifically going to look at something called the nth term test for divergence. Um, so let's get that in here, for divergence. And this is a fairly simple test to do, but it only tests for divergence. Um, also, when we start to talk about convergence of series, we will um, most of them have names, and the name of this one is called the nth term test. So if you go up to people uh, in the mathematical community who know sequences and series, and you say the nth term test, they'll know what you're talking about. Um, and they're all basically tests, because you're testing for convergence or divergence. Here's how the nth term test works. Let's say we have a series. And a series, remember, is a sequence. Here's the sequence a sub n. And we're adding them up with this sigma thing. So if, a, if the series a sub n converges, okay, so let's say that eventually this, we, we're adding up an infinite amount of numbers, um, but it converges to a single number. So the sum is a single number. That means that the limit um, as n approaches infinity of the series, sorry, of the sequence a sub n, this limit must be zero. So think about it. If at infinity we're adding up something that's not zero, then it's not going to converge because we're, we'd eventually add up like one plus one plus one plus one or something else, and that would just not converge. Let's take to to name the nth term test. What essentially we do is we flip the statement around and we say this. Uh, it's a contrapositive statement. We say that if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n does not equal zero, then um, the initial supposition was false. And so the initial supposition was that um, this series converged. And so in this case, if the limit of the sequence does not equal zero, then the series diverges. This is the nth term test. So put that in your notes, nth term test. Let's see the nth term test in action. Let's say I have the series uh, n over n plus 1. So let's plug in some values for n and see what this does. So I start with n equals 1. So I do 1 uh, over 2, so 1 half. Uh, and it's a series, so I'm adding them, plus 2 over 3 plus 3 over 4, plus 4 over 5, plus 5 over 6, etc. Let's apply the nth term test. So I look at this thing, which is the sequence, and I take the limit as n goes to infinity of the sequence, which is n over n plus 1. Clearly, using Bobo Botten or L'Hopital's rule, this limit is 1, which means that, notice these numbers, as I go closer, or as I go farther and farther out to infinity, eventually what I'll end up doing is basically saying plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, infinitely many times because the series never stops. Clearly, if I add up one infinitely many times, I will get infinity. Therefore, this original series diverges. Uh, using the nth term test, we say it diverges because we got one and one does not equal zero, therefore it diverges. Let's look at another example. Let's say that we have the sum of 2n factorial over 3n factorial minus 8, okay, just for kicks. Uh, if we were to write out some of these terms, we would get negative 2 fifths plus 4 over negative 2 plus, plus 12 tenths etc. I'm not going to keep going because that was just really hard math. But anyway, you get the idea. Let's apply the nth term test to see if this diverges. Um, so what we do is we take the limit as n approaches infinity of just the inside terms. So the 2n factorial over 3n factorial minus 8. Uh, if No, 8, not infinity. Ha, it's like I rotated it sideways. Um, if you haven't dealt with factorials before, they're pretty simple to deal with. Um, notice that this negative 8 won't matter very much when we 
go out to infinity. And so essentially the factorials will cancel and this limit will be two thirds. Because two thirds does not equal zero, uh, the original series, the adding them up, this series will diverge. Cool. Another example, let's say that we have the series one to infinity of one over n. And so we have one plus one half plus one third plus one fourth plus blah, blah, blah. Let's do the nth term test. So we do the limit and approaches infinity of that middle term. Oh, in this case, I get one over infinity, which is zero. Okay, now you have to be careful. Go back to your notes, go back here, nth term test. If the limit as n approaches infinity of your sequence a sub n does equal zero, then, this is very important, the test is inconclusive. You don't know if the series converges or diverges. Okay, so that's why it's called the nth term test for divergence only. Okay, you cannot use the nth term test to see if a series converges only for divergent. Um, because, as we'll see very quickly, this series actually does diverge. Well, I'll show you how uh, in a later video, but we can't tell just based on the nth term test um, whether or not the series converges or diverges. So if you get zero, that means that you have more work to do and you have to apply a different test to see if the series converges or diverges. Let's look at one more example of um, when you get zero with the um, nth term test. So let's say we do one over two to the n. Uh, and so this series will be a half plus one fourth plus one eighth, uh, etc. Uh, if you notice that this is geometric and the ratio is one half, uh, and we know therefore because it's one half and this is less than one, therefore this series will converge um, based on the fact that it's geometric. So if you recognize that, great. But if we apply the nth term test for divergence, let's do the limit as n approaches infinity of middle part, one over two to the n, we do get zero. And so here, again, this is inconclusive. So because it's inconclusive, we have to go to a different test, i.e. the geometric series test, to see that it actually does converge. Whereas here, this is inconclusive. And so we have to do a different test to see that this diverges. I haven't taught you that test yet. You'll learn it in a later video. But that's the gist of the nth term test.